Hi guys, I'm here back on Monk's Pit for part three. I've not got a long session on my hands this week. Just a short and sweet one, well hopefully sweet. Got to be gone uh, 24 hours, maybe 28 hours maximum, and I've got to be out of here. So it's going to be a quick one. Hopefully I'll manage to pinch one bite. That's all I'm looking for, it's just one fish and I'll be a happy bunny. Uh, you don't know, it's fishing a bit tricky at the minute months. The fish are not quite sure what they want to do. It's getting a little bit cold, a little bit cooler but then it's getting hotter again and a little bit cooler. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully the fishing will pick up over the next few weeks and we'll get some of them big gals that I promised to get on the bank. Also out there, I don't know if you can see that, I'm just going to move the camera slightly, zoom in. See that big, what looks like a, a slick, from an oil slick, it's actually a big pile of weeds, it's like a floating Canadian weed, or a couple of other bits of weed entwined with it, and uh, that is just wiping everyone's lines out. There's about 50, 50 weed beds that size in here uh, and there's one massive weed bed that's the size of a football pitch just floating around the lake and uh, if that happens to just park yourself in your peg well there's just nothing you can do about it at all except for wind your rods in and either go home or, or move pegs which is a bit frustrating so uh, I've got here, I've had the rods in originally I'd had them in about an hour and then straight away a big clump of weed comes straight through and wipe two of my rods out. So I had to recast it and them two rods have been in about 20 minutes. So it's frustrating as hell but I'm here, it's miserable, it's cloudy, it's really really windy and it looks good for a fish. So you never know. There are a few fish showing, which is a good sign. There's a few fish up this end now, they've all been up the other end for the last few weeks, up the deeper end. So uh, things look promising. I'm back, I'm excited as hell. Uh, so we'll see what tonight brings. But I'll give you an update a bit later on and get you updated on what's going on. Well guys, I said it'd be a short session this week and uh, it is going to be a short session, probably about 24 hours, maybe 28 hours and I've got to be gone. But, I've got a big comment in the retainer already. Uh, after changing my approach completely, tactics, having a good swap about, getting into a different peg as well from what I was in last week, things have finally paid off. After two and a half hours of the rods being out, it's absolutely torn off. I just put one spot on uh, chop boilies over the top and uh, as soon as I put the spot rod down, left hand rod just absolutely one time melted and uh, hit into it, felt it was a decent fish and uh, got a big comment in a sling. So uh, I'll be back in a second and we'll see what we got. Yeah. I said it felt a good fish and it must be a good fish. Uh, as you can see she's flicking water all over the camera. Try and get this off to the best I can. I think I've got it right. Lovely. The first big comment out of here. Well, I say big. Let's we'll see how big it is. She looks like she could be just about under 30, I guess. That's definitely enough for 20. Lovely. I think I've had one other common about 26. There's not many big commons in here at all. I think there's only a couple over 30. Now after not having the rods in two and a half hours or so, to get stuck in this early is just a, an absolute dream. Alright, we'll see what it is. Scales are all zeroed. Touch over 29. Looks to be a few ounces over 29, so it's just under 30. Oh, I thought it might have gone 30 there. 
bit gutted, but extremely happy, don't get me wrong. Again, just showing that you don't need to spend days upon the bank. A little 28 to 30 hour session I've got on my hands this week. There's obviously more than enough. Lovely looking fish. It's in good, it's in good nick as well. The looks of things, there's been plenty of sunbathing. Plenty of water, guys. Keep it going on. I should with these big old fish. Nice. Let's see if she'll behave. She might beat me up a little bit. Oh, what a, what a bite. Let's have a look at her. She's a lovely fish. Look at that. Bar of gold. <laughs> just under 30 pounds. Gosh, I say just over 29. Come on, baby. Get on down. Lovely looking fish. I really just feel nice to get the big common. Long, so yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Nice big, thanks, baby. Right for now, guys, I'll give you an update a bit later on. But I'm gonna get a few still pics now, so I'll speak to you soon. Well, 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 guys, 29 pound common, not too shabby too shabby at all. So uh I'm in the evening time now, it's late at night. I'll give you a quick update, just to let you know. But yeah, there's a couple of fish rolling out there still, two fish have rolled in the last 15 minutes before the dust. So uh, happy days. I don't really care what happens now, I had that big common. Same big common, it's a 29 pound common, my biggest common from the mistake. What a stunner it was. Really, absolutely fit perfect, mouth perfect. Not a blemish on it. It's uh, definitely going to be a real big fish, that one. Uh, as you know, bugs don't have that many big commons at all. I think it only has two commons over 30 pounds, as far as I know. So, yeah, happy days. The baits obviously still doing the trick. They just can't stop eating it. I think hard stuff eating it. Hard work's paying off. The grass here, I told you I'm going to put a bit of time in here. It just goes to show if you, if you persevere with a game plan, it can come through for you. For all that thick weed and stuff, I know that 90% of the time I'm going to have to get straight out on the boat. But it doesn't bother me. Even at night. Get, make sure you've got a, head, a strong head torch. You have to go out after you've got to go out after. That could be a magical quarter pounder on the end, so you're not going to take risks. You fish for bites, so then you've got a fish to get them in. Uh, I'd say I'm, I've been really lucky on mugs at the minute. There are a few uh, ugly looking for simo fish in here, but nearly every fish I've caught, this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. The water here, I give it that. The quality of water here is outstanding. I mean, you can see to the bottom in like 20 foot. It's, it's, it's quite unbelievable. Really. And, and the weed growth also obviously helps purify the water. So, uh, you've got a nice little ecosystem going on down there. And it's creating these lovely dark fish that you guys are seeing at home. So, uh, it definitely bolts well for the future of the Pulse Pit. There's lots of up and coming 20s that are stunning by the way, I've had some stunning 20s this year out of here. Some nice scaly ones, some nice looking leather ones. And, and commons, a lot of the commons are coming through. So uh, it's an all round winner. And, uh, it's looking good. Got to be off early tomorrow morning, so I don't know whether you're getting another update out of me. You may get a night time update tonight. With a fish or an early morning one with a fish, hopefully. 
Next week. Okay, now, guys, I'll see you next week.